Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. My name's Mariah. I'm going to be vlogging this weekend. I'm up in Perth. Wow, I haven't vlogged in so long. I literally haven't put a video up in three months. Like, that is so nuts. Today's such a busy day. I'm up early. It's eight o'clock. I'm heading to a lash appointment. I've had my lashes off for about a month now. So I've had a little break and I'm just getting them redone this morning. So I'm, I'm so excited to be getting them done again. Literally straight after this, I'm going to get my nails done. And then after that, I'm going to get my first ever tattoo. And I'm so excited. After that, I'm getting my eyebrows done this afternoon in Ellenbrook, which is quite a while away. I think I was meant to turn there. Shit. It was a policeman there. <laughs> this is why you don't vlog and drive because then the you take the foot because then you miss where you're meant to go. Okay guys, I just had to shut my camera off for a minute because I got lost. I've just arrived at Eva's house and I have no lashes. So I'm gonna go and get my lashes done now. I'll give you guys a better update when I get out. Hopefully if I've got time, because I'm going straight, it's so blurry. I'm going straight to my nail appointment. Um, but anyways, I'll talk to you guys soon. I just finished getting my lashes done. Sorry about the abrupt sort of start to the vlog. I was in a rush this morning and I really just wanted to start it and sort of let you guys know what was going on. So I just came out of here. I always look so oily afterwards. I don't have any makeup on, but holy moly, I have missed my lashes so much. They look so amazing. I get 4D guys. I see Eva in Wellard. She has a pla two places now, one in Fremantle and one in Wellard. I will leave her Instagram here somewhere. I've been going there for a year and a half and it's just so amazing. Like she just does such a good job. They just look so incredible. Like oh, I feel myself again now that I have them. I was such a little bold rat before. Anyway, um, I'm going to drive to Yen's Nails now. I'm going to go and get my nails done there in Baldivis. I think that's only about 10 minutes away. I'll talk to you guys soon. Hi guys, so it's actually a bit later now. I hope that you can hear me okay. It is like around 3 o'clock, just after 3 o'clock. I had such a mad morning. I went from my lashes to um, my nails. They were running about 20 minutes late. I had my appointment for 10.45. I still hadn't started my nails at 11 o'clock. And I was freaking out because I had my tattoo appointment at 12.30, which I really didn't want to miss. I had to ask the ladies there um, how long it was going to be because I would have rather just said, oh, I'll come back another time because I wanted to get my tattoo done. Oh, I think we're coming into a slow point of the traffic now. Anyway, they said, oh, it'd only be another five minutes, so I thought I would wait, but I still thought I'm gonna be cutting it so fine because I had to go back to Quanana and pick Brendan up and then go to Rockingham where my tattoo place is. Yes, yeah, so I thought I'm really not gonna make it in time and I didn't wanna rock up there late. So I ended up calling the tattoo place and saying like, hey, is it okay if I push it half an hour? And I had time to do what I wanted to do. I got to get my nails done. If you guys can see, I got the ombre nails and they look so good. It was definitely worth the wait. I had my nails done and then I had my tattoo at one o'clock. We made it there with 10 minutes to spare. Shani and Bane were getting their tattoos this morning and we thought that they would still be there but they had already finished theirs by the time we got there. They were getting a bit bigger tattoos than what I was getting. So that was gonna take a few hours. When we got there, they had already finished and went to the shops. The whole thing was we wanted to get tattoos for Shani's birthday, which is tomorrow. I went and got my tattoo and I always have wanted to get a cross because I'm a Christian and I always wanted to get something to like resemble that. I always imagined getting it on the back of my neck. Over the last few months when I've been thinking about it, I've really been liking finger tattoos. Just something like really dainty, nothing like too out there. So I got a finger tattoo and I'm just driving at the minute so I can't really show you but I'll show you guys in a minute. I was really nervous 
like the whole time I was so excited about it and then when I got there I got so nervous that it was going to hurt so bad. I've had a lot of piercings before. I thought oh, surely it won't be as painful as that. It wasn't. It was literally like it didn't hurt at all. It just felt like little scratches. You know like when your cat scratches you and you're just like oh like you sort of want to pull away but you can't. I was laid down the whole time and the girl that did it was so lovely. Yeah, so I was just rested laying down and we were just talking why she did it and it only took like maybe like 10 minutes or something and I just like filled some paperwork out and stuff beforehand. I absolutely love it so much. I have to go back in, oh I'm coming back in two weeks to Perth and I'm going to be getting it touched up because finger tattoos are known to, you know, flake and lose a bit of the colour really fast just because it is on your hands and you're using your hands all the time. When I knew that I was going to get my finger done, I already started looking for other tattoos that I want to get done. I already know what I want my second tattoo to be, but I'm going to keep that one a surprise for now. We went to the shops after that because the girls were at the shops. I got a few things from Kmart and we pretty much left the shops went back home I just like try to tidy up my face a bit because it was oily and then I'm on the road now to go to a new place to get my brows done last time I got them done I tried out Gabriella brow studios which I liked um, but I follow like four different pages on Instagram so I wanted to try a few of them out to see what I like best today I'm trying Bambi Bambi B. What I liked about their Instagram was that they actually draw on your face structure where they're meant to be waxing and how the brows are meant to look according to your face features and stuff. I thought, hey, I'm going to try this place. It is so far away, literally over an hour away. I thought, I'm just going to try it and if I like it, of course, I'll be going back. I think it will definitely be worth a try because I'm always looking for places um, to you know, get my brows done and improve them. But I'm really excited to get them done. Haven't done them, had them done in over a month, probably like six weeks. They're really due for it. They're gonna be getting, you know, waxed, tweezed and tinted. They fill them in at the end, I think, as well. Oh, I need to slow down. It is so bloody easy to speed. Like, this is meant to be a 35 zone and everyone's going so fast. It's like one of those corners where you get off the freeway. I might just turn this off and listen to some music for the rest of the drive and then check in with you guys as I get there and show you my brows and then I'll show you what they look like afterwards and oh and I can show you my tattoo as well it's on this hand um, but yeah that's the update for now guys we'll talk to you guys soon. So I have arrived to Bambi now, or oh, I'm in the car park anyway. It should be around the corner there, I'm not actually sure. But I'm half an hour early, so I'll go investigate if it is around the corner there in a minute. I wanted to show you guys my brows as a before. So this is what we're dealing with. I have heaps of like hairs out of line, like you probably can't see it on camera, but there's hairs up here and little ones in between here as well. Because they haven't been done in about six weeks. This is what we're looking like, and I bet it's going to be an amazing transformation afterwards so I'm so excited and I will show you guys as soon as I'm out this is my tattoo I don't really know how to show it there's my little tattoo on my finger there Woo! <laughs> I absolutely love it there's still um like the stencil the blue stencil you can still see it that will wash off yes yeah, so I'm gonna go and get that topped up in two weeks to keep it looking nice because it will probably flake off i might jump out the car and go and see make sure it is around the corner so when i do go to get out i'm not like trying to look for it then i might even just go in early maybe they can do me now and yeah i will see you guys when i get I'm out. back i just finished up in bambi oh my god they did such an amazing job i wanted to go to this place because i saw that they actually measure your brows like they measure according to your face nowhere else i've been does that and i thought that will be more accurate then i can actually see what i need to Ooh, there's a plane then I can actually see what I need to work on to make my brows more even because they're uneven I was literally in there for like half an hour and they took their time doing it measured my brows and said what I have to do like I have to grow this brow a bit more out and this end is a bit you can't see because they're filled in this end is a bit shorter when they just 
had drawn with the pencil on my face like it looked so good so I'm definitely coming back there again there's no need for me to go brow shopping anymore like I have been I've been going to a few different places yeah this was so worth it worth the drive definitely oh, they look so good definitely would recommend Bambi Bay in Ellenbrook. She said that they're quite dark because I have tan on my face and it grabs to the hairs a lot more for some reason. Yeah, I'm not even bothered by that because I know they, they wash out so quickly. So it's good to have them dark to begin with and then they'll get lighter. I'm going to head home now. I'm so obsessed. You guys saw how my brows looked before. They look so much better now. That was awesome and time to go home. Go, babe! Uh, none. Hey? 
none. What? Yeah, everything takes two. Yeah. I think you still bait me. <laughs> oh, is that how many tickets you're gonna get? 50. Oh, no way! That's so cool. Oh, wow. You can have five too. Yeah, go. Oh, dirty. That's still pretty good. Way better than what we. <laughs> Collective yeah. Oh, but as a team, we have lots. The last of it. Is it? Yeah. Sure? Yeah, I don't have any. Evening guys, we just got home. You would have seen we just went bowling for Shani's birthday, so birthday today. I didn't really film anything today besides that because we were doing family stuff. Yeah, because we were doing stuff for her birthday. So this morning we went out for breakfast at Dome with the family. Then we all went to the movies together after that and we watched Jurassic World, which was so good. I really enjoyed it. Yeah, we've just been hanging out this afternoon and then we went to bowling tonight, just the four of us, and that was so fun. And we got to play some games and stuff as well. We got 600 and something tickets all together. We got some pom-poms with our prize. So we got these little colorful pom-poms which is pretty cool. <laughs> yeah, that's pretty much what's been happening today. So we're off home again tomorrow, Monday tomorrow, and we'll probably be leaving at lunchtime or something. My tattoo is starting to scab now. It feels like sort of bumpy, which is normal. So yeah, that's what's happening with the little tat at the moment. My eyebrows, I literally like went to bed and just left my eyebrows on because they were the only thing like done. I really liked them and I wanted to wear makeup today and um, like my eyebrows would already be done. I woke up this morning and they looked so good still. I had my eyebrows already done this morning and then I just had to do the rest of my face so that was really good. And then I already took my makeup off before we went bowling. This is actually how my eyebrows look without anything in them like it's amazing. <laughs> Obviously they've still got tint in them, like my skin is still stained. I wish they would stay like this forever because they just look so good and they just look so much more even. Like I literally don't even have to fill them in when they're like this. It's amazing. That's the check-in for now. I think we're going to go watch a movie and have dinner and then I'll be off to bed. I don't know what we're doing tomorrow yet so I'll probably just check in again tomorrow and sign out. Good morning guys. It is Monday and it's about lunchtime at the moment. I've just been packing up and and putting everything in the car getting ready to go home I just thought I would do my sign out now so this morning I've just been editing my high smile video if you guys follow me over on Instagram then you would know that I am doing a collaboration with high smile that video was actually ready to go up last Monday you have to send it you know to like get approved and stuff first it has to be under six minutes and I wasn't aware of that I thought it just had to be like a minimum of six minutes my video was like 15 minutes long you guys know like I like to really give you guys a lot of detail like I do in my Invisalign videos and let you know all there is to know and give my full feedback so that was a bit disappointing I had to cut the video down from 15 minutes to six minutes I was a bit sad about that because I did put a lot of effort in in making that and then I had to like trim it right down i just had to edit that this morning and then send it back for approval that video will definitely already be up by the time this one is up if you would like to go and check it out yeah you're more than welcome it's just a teeth whitening video that's what i've just been working on this morning oh the battery is about to die <laughs> yeah so i just thought i would check in and let you guys know what's been happening i hope you guys did enjoy this one please give it a big thumbs up if you did and subscribe down below if you are new here so you can see my 
my other videos that are to come. Thank you guys so much for watching. It has been a lovely weekend and I hope that you guys have had a good weekend as well. I will see you in my next video. Bye.